every criticism of the doctrine of Islam gets conflated with bigotry toward Muslims as people. Right. And that is uh, it's, it's intellectually <laughs> ridiculous. So even it gets so hold on. Are you the person who understands the officially codified doctrine of Islam? You're uh, the interpreter well, of that, well, so you well, can say, well, I, this I'm, is... I'm, I think I'm any, actually well-educated well, on this topic. I'm, yeah. I'm asking you, so I mean, you're you, saying, if I criticize the... You're saying that Islamophobia is not a real thing. That if you're critical of something... It, well, it's not a real thing when we do it. Right. <laughs> well, well, no, it no, really no, isn't. I, I'm not denying not, that, that certain people are bigoted against Muslims as people. That, right. And that's a that's problem. big of you. But the... But why are you so hostile to, about this? It's, it's gross. It's racist. It's, it's not. It's but it's so not. It's so. It's like saying it's those so you're shifty Jew. You're not listening Absolutely to not. what well, we are saying. You guys are. Why? You're, you're, it's true. you're missing the point again. I know your point. You're not hearing. And this is what I'm always facing on this panel. I don't feel like they're hearing the point. You're talking about this vast group that is peaceful. But are they that peaceful? If yeah. vast numbers of them believe you should die if you leave the religion or marry the wrong person, I would say no. But you're Can I? So I will ask you, everyone in the room, how many of you are normal Muslims? You're not extremists, you're not radical, just normal Sunni Muslims. Please raise your hands. Everybody, mashaAllah. Subhanallah. Okay, take down your hands again. How many of you agree that men and women should sit separate? Please raise your hands. Everyone agree. Everyone agree. Brothers and sisters. Subhanallah. So, so it's not just these radical sheikhs then. Allahu Akbar. Next question. How many of you agree that the punishments described in the Quran and the Sunnah whether it is death whether it is stoning for adultery whatever it is if it is from Allah and his messenger that is the best punishment ever possible for humankind and that is what we should apply in the world well, who, who agrees with that Allahu Akbar are you all radical extremists subhanallah so all of you are saying that you are common Muslims. You all go to the different massages, no way. Or is it, are you like a specific sect, like the Islam net sect or anything like that? Are you like that? No. Is it, are you like that? Please raise, your, please raise your hand if you like this extreme Islam net sect or anything like that. No one. Allahu Akbar. I have been trying to make the point that people work backwards from the idea that it cannot be Islam because that's a religion and religions are good. So what started all the ruckus with the Ben Affleck stuff was when I said on the previous show, if vast numbers of Muslims across the world believe, and they do, that humans deserve to die for merely holding a different idea or, writing a, or drawing a cartoon or writing a book or eloping with the wrong person, not only does the Muslim world have something in common with ISIS, it has too much in common with ISIS.